There were many people who were confused by the island scenes. From a new viewer's standpoint, it's totally understandable. The first episode of Soul Leveling started with an unknown island as the main location, where hunters were fighting against giant ants. Suddenly, the scene drastically changed, and instead of ongoing fight on the island, we now see Jinwo walking towards the construction site and entering the gate. In this video, I'll explain what that island is without giving you major spoilers. But before we do that, you need to know a few things, like how monsters appear. We are told in the first episode that gates suddenly appeared and monsters started pouring out of them. However, that's not the whole story. Gates have a timer and humans are given a chance to go inside and defeat the boss monster to clear the gate. Gates later became the biggest source of income for countries and hunters guilds. They would harvest the precious minerals located in the gates and even sell the loot dropped by monsters, which consists of pure energy and is very important and valuable. However, back then, when the first gate started appearing, no one knew what to do. Even if some daredevils risked entering the gate, no one would be able to clear it without awakened powers. The timer would run out and the phenomenon known as the dungeon break would occur. The dungeon break means that the monsters trapped inside the gate space and unable to cross over can now freely use the gates just like humans and roam the earth. The only way to stop them is to defeat the boss monster and clear the gate. There were tons of dungeon breaks back then, some even resulting in thousands of people dying. The island scene that we saw was one of those incidents. Unlike normal dungeon breaks where humans manage to defeat the monsters, kill the boss and finally close the gate, the island dungeon was different. It hosted a strong and most importantly a huge number of ant monsters that managed to defeat the humans who tried to clear the gate. It's one of the rare instances where humans failed and admitted defeat. Luckily, the monsters were ant types and the dungeon break occurred on an island, so they were still trapped by the water surrounding the island. However, we have already seen in the past what happens when you let an ant colony grow and develop. So even if humans were unable to defeat them, they still try to scout the island from time to time. This is all the information I can give you without dropping major spoilers. I hope now you have a better understanding of the island scenes, dungeon breaks and how gates work in general. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more soul leveling content. See you in next video and in the meantime, stay awesome!